All right, we'll try this one more time. <laughs> this is actually the third time I've done this, but my microphone wasn't working because I was doing some Cubase stuff. I, uh, technology. I hate, actually hate technology. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> for somebody who uses a lot of it, here we are. Somebody wanted to bring in this Christina Heron and Daz, and then if you, hopefully they didn't, weren't watching my silent video. Uh, Christina Heron and Daz, let me sum this up. Anytime you have longer hair that, that drapes over a character like this, it's going to be an issue. I, I would just say don't bother. If you see it like this, don't bother. But, but you can get some acceptable results. It's just going to be a drag. Because what happens is uh, long hair in the back is fine, but long hair drapes over like this is going to collide with the character, and then your collision shapes are going to have to be involved, and it's, it's just going to be a mess. So as a general rule, I don't work with hair that's longer than shoulder length. Or if it's longer, I'll have it come down the back. So uh, I would advise you not to use this. But this is uh, out-of-touch hair. Uh, a lot of hair that she does. I think it's a female developer. And she uses a lot of layers. So that's another thing that's a problem. But uh, when, when you do this, uh, you, you need to deal with all these layers. And one of the things that you do is that you have to load in all the opacity maps. So when this comes in, uh, load in various opacity maps. And the maps kind of uh, if you want to do this right you have to load in different opacity maps so that the the pieces that lay closer to the head are more opaque than the ones that are and I, I didn't do that i just loaded in all the same maps for that uh the cap maps of course you have to load in and then the colors and so you have all that but the big thing is the physics so we're going to come into iCloud. i'm going to show you the physics so here's here's the physics here we'll go back to the front here and um so for the hair for the hair you know here and here so go to the physics and you activate physics, turn it on, uh, weight maps here. So here's all, and I use the, just this stand, I just drew this weight map. If you really wanted to be accurate or get it to be really slick, you could draw different weight maps and weight it differently for different portions of the hair. And I already have a video that shows you how to do that. So I'm not even gonna go through that again, but it shows you how you can see what you're doing. And in those cases, I would actually just make this very longer portion of it. Um, but, but I'm not going to do that now. So you, you can look at that other video if you want to see that. Uh, so we have hair, and we, we make it hair, and we make it uh, straight hair. If you try to make it wavy hair, it's going to jump up and, and go a little nutty on this person. But even the straight hair may be an issue. So you've got you've to be careful about which, which one you choose here. And uh, soft versus rigid. This is the collision shapes. I loaded collision shapes. I loaded... I think the, the Natalie shapes from a previous version of iClone are the best collision shapes. And again, I have a video for that too, so I'm not going to go through that. Uh, and then once you do that, you, you run it and, and you'll see it take a little while to settle down always, which is why you want to start your animations a little front. And then you can see it moving. And so that's basically all. Again, you're going to have issues with it interpenetrating, particularly clothing and stuff. You may not want it to move around this much, but you can control that with other physics maps and do what you want but as again as a very general rule i would uh, suggest not using longer hair like this from uh, from daz or or from anybody usually the real illusion hair is not this long if you look at the stuff they offer they don't have hair that drapes over the shoulders like this for this very reason uh but you know that's um, you know you do what you want uh, even with these collision maps working fairly good you can see that some of her hair is getting caught underneath her arms and I don't know if if I I guess I guess it's accurate physically, but it's you know it's not very pretty. So uh, again, I think that shows you that you can get it working the way you want. And if you have any specific questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the forums.